Today we're working on a 2010 Mazda CX-7. We'll be installing draw type part number 75512, which is also comparable to hidden hitch part number 87421. Here are a couple measurements that will assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost point of the bumper is approximately six and a half inches. And from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 11 and three quarter inches. All right, our first step is going to be to lower exhaust. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take a strap and put it underneath the exhaust so it doesn't go down any further than I want it to. With our strap on, I'm going to take a little spray lubricant. So we're going to go ahead and lubricate the four hangers that hold the muffler. There's two in front of the muffler, one on each side, and two in the back of the muffler, one on each side. We'll go ahead and remove those now. With our exhaust down, I'll go ahead and point out our attachment points. This is our forwardmost attachment point on the driver's side. There's an identical hole like it at the rear attachment point on the driver's side. This will be identical on the passenger side. You can see our hole is too small to fit our block. So what we're going to need to do is enlarge in our holes. I'll be using a pry bar to enlarge in the holes enough to get my blocks in. A file works also. You can see now our block will go in. We can also test our bolt. We need to make sure the head of the bolt will go in as well. And it too will pass through. So we're good on our forward most hole on the driver's side. I'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other three holes. Before we can install our hitch, we need to install our fasteners. We'll be using a reverse pull technique where we thread our bolt and block onto our bolt leader. And we push the bolt up into the frame. Then we'll slide our block through the opening and we'll pull them both back to the same hole we just went into. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave the bolt leader on here as it will help not to push the bolt back up into the frame when we put our hitch in position. I'll go ahead and repeat that same process for all three other holes. Okay, now's a good time to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch up into place. We'll go ahead and feed our bolt leaders through the hitch and we can push it up into place. With our hitch in position, Go ahead and remove our bolt leader. It'll be a conical tooth washer with the teeth of the washer facing the hitch. And install the fasteners. Now with all of our fasteners in place, we can go ahead and tighten them up. That completes the driver's side. I'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. With all of our fasteners in position, we want to go ahead and torque the specifications as per the instructions. That completes the driver's side. I'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. With all of our fasteners torqued to specifications, we can go ahead and reinstall our exhaust. With our exhaust reinstalled, we can go ahead and remove our safety hanger. And that completes the installation of draw type part number 75512. 